Hello and welcome there guys. My name is Matt from Jazzco Consulting and today we're going to be doing another video on Microsoft Teams. However, today we're going to be doing something a little bit different and focusing on something a little bit more industry specific. So obviously over the last 18 months, we've had a lot of different change around the world. Um, some industries have gone up, some industries have seen lots of growth. Um, so one industry we're going to be focusing on today is one that has seen a lot of growth and that is the healthcare sector. So Healthcare can be anything from healthcare financials, we could have uh, well-being, um, obviously hospital supplies, manufacturing, all those sort of things. And um, obviously they do need a, a fair bit of IT to kind of get them through and help them through that journey, especially with a, a, in the evolving world. So today we're gonna to be utilizing Microsoft Teams Shifts and it's an integrated app within the Teams platform that you can use at any time. Um, but I'm just going to be using an example today with uh, one of our clients, Ozchild, who work in the not-for-profit um, and welfare sec sector within, within health. And they look after younger children who are at risk and help them with fostering and that sort of thing. So let's get into it today. So here, as we've opened up the uh, Shifts app, we can just see it down the side here, comes up with a nice, easy display. And we've got all the people that work in this group, so in this team, uh, it's called marketing, but obviously we could have that change for your specific um, healthcare industry. And what we're gonna do is the first thing, let's just work out how to add a shift. So uh, if we go to these three dots here, we can just click that and then go add a shift. So we'll click on that. And as I said, we're gonna be using that Oz child example. So let's just say someone was going to be fostering a child and helping out to, throughout the day. So they might be doing a 6 a.m. till 3 p.m. shift. And so that's just there, 6 a.m. till 3. Uh, we can change the color of this if we'd like. Let's have it green, nice and bright. And let's just say this is going to be a fostering shift. Fantastic. Um, then you can have a break, might have a break for 15 minutes, let's say, uh, if they need one. And then we can have a shift note. So maybe say that this child has some specific needs that they require. We could easily add that in there so that they know what they're in for for the shift and know what's going on. Furthermore, down at the shift activities, we can add the specific activities throughout the day. So say we wanted to have lunch at a specific time or that child might need to go outside for whatever reason or you know see some different sort of activity. Um, we could add that in there and that will just be a subsection of that shift. So after we're happy with all that, what we can do is we can click save and that's gonna come straight in there. So Thursday, um, we've got that shift in there nice and simple. So that fostering shift there. Uh, another thing we might wanna do if we are using like a shifts kind of app is we might wanna add in leave for someone. So in that circumstance, we'd go to the three dots. We go, let's do a time off request. So in here, uh, it just shows simply that Helen wants to have the day off. Um, and then we have like the reason because of that. So it might be a vacation, unpaid, off, parental leave or a sick day. Um, there is in the settings, you can add more to these, which I'll show you a bit later, but let's just add in a sick day for her. Obviously can't look after kids if I'm unfortunately unwell. Um, so they were gonna do that and save that. So she's got a sick day, I've got a foster shift, fantastic. Um, now what we might have tomorrow is because Helen might be sick. So let's just say in the day notes that uh, we might be understaffed. And this just shows that, um, you know, everyone can read this and say, okay, cool. Might have to be all hands on, all hands on deck or someone might have to pick up a shift or something along those lines. Um, but yeah, just to help out those kids as well. Moving on, we can go to the request section um, and then this could be a new request. So we might wanna do some time off because it can be really stressful, obviously looking after someone uh, like fostering kids and all that sort of thing, or um, you know, taking time out of your life to help others. Um, so we might need a vacation or we might need um, a leave or something along those lines. And that's where we'd add that in. So we might need a full week off or something along those lines. Simply just go, yep, 16th to the 17th. Okay, cool, we've got the two days off. Do a note, whatever. Otherwise, we can do shift swaps if we wanted to swap a shift in there. It's very simple, very, very easy there as well. And finally, in the settings, uh, here's where we said we could add in the extra request so we could have a custom option. So maybe within this example, someone might have activities on the day that they might not be able to help out look after people or they might already be looking after people, um, that sort of thing. And this is where we adjust our time and clocking in and clocking off settings and as well as exporting as well, which I will go through now. So in this specific app, what you can do is you can uh, clock in and clock off. Um, so what you do is simply just click clock in and it will say, yep, do we want to start at 2.42? Of course we do, yes we do. 
and then that will start our shift. So it's just ticking away as we go now. And what I can do is I can go start my break and then end my break and of course clock out. Now this is gonna be exceptionally handy for someone who is working in that sort of healthcare sector because you can use this remotely. So it means that I can be on the go, I can be looking after someone and I can get paid perfectly for my shift and I don't even have to be sitting at my computer. So it just means that I can be really on the go um, with, with no need to kind of, yeah, as I said, um, be stagnant in one spot. Uh, finally, once we're happy with the entire the entire shifts for the week, what we can do is we can go share with the team and then that's gonna share it to every single person in this specific team. Now we'd obviously tailor that to whatever, whatever sort of region we're looking at. And then everyone will get the notification for that. You can choose that as an option or you can just do affected team members only. So if we just wanted Matt or Helen to know, uh, we could do that as well. And we just click share and it would go straight to the team. So thank you very much for watching guys. That is how the uh, healthcare industry could kind of utilize this app a little bit. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them. Uh, but that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.